So, shout out to Ney from Empoli, so from Tuscany. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Chardonnay, uh, me in particular, I wasn't a huge fan of Chardonnay. Uh, the dog's just come in and he's tottering around, you can hear him on the kitchen floor, what's going on? Um, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan because I, like everyone else, had had a lot of like Australian or um, Chilean, what else makes shit Chardonnay? Um, the French not so much because they do it with style. Um, but what was happening is, these producers were over-oaking their wines, so you get a lot of butteriness. Some people love the butteriness. In a Chablis, I agree, it's nice, because it's made well and it's at the right level, it's balanced well, everything's in the right place. But some places are just like, yeah, chuck oak chips in the tank and it'll taste oaky and it'll be brilliant and pfft. Awful wines. Um, so, it put a lot of people off and, and, and my friend Sam has a, a, a it's a blog, a vlog, you have a vlog, Sam has, um, it's called Anything But Chardonnay, because that's what people say, ABC, Anything But Chardonnay. Um, gonna change his mind though, because this is incredible. So this is made um, by Lorenzo, that makes the uh, Le Piacin that we import. He also makes uh, the Rinnegato, which is, I don't know if I know, whoop. Um, and his Riesling, been filming all day today, so we can do this, um, there, the Riesling. That's amazing, by the way. If you want something a bit different, a Riesling from Empoli in Tuscany, blow your freaking mind. Um, so here's Chardonnay. I gave this to a lady called Jill, who does the markets that I do, and she was like, oh, I'm not a big fan. Like, just try it. And she tried it. She was like, that is amazing. That is the most amazing. Oh, she bought a bottle. Boom. Next week, if you've got any more Chardonnay. So what I do is I rotate the wines. I didn't know she loved it that much. Um, but anyway, so I've got now a fan of this wine. Um, he made 650 bottles. You see that? So 650 bottles from this vintage 2019. Um, so it's very, very limited, very small production. Spends a little bit of time in oak, not a huge amount of time, so you still get a little bit of that richness, butteriness, like I said, but not in spades. So it's there just to kind of take the edge off, but you still get a lot of that fresh fruit coming through. Coming through coming through. If you've never had a uh, Chardonnay with no oak, it's worth a try. I love them because it's really fruity, like um, citrus fruit to cop out. I'm not great with the fruits, as you know, but um, that's the, the predominant flavours because it's got acidity, freshness, um, it's a little bit snappy. You're like, oh, that's really quite lovely. What is that? Chardonnay. You're what? Because you're used to that buttery kind of richness. <clears throat> this sits nicely between the two it's rich kind of um not oily is the wrong word but it's it's yeah it leaves you with a lovely mouthfeel and it kind of feels like it's got a bit of depth of flavor and it's been aged for a while um so yeah one to stand up and notice have a go